we're skipping town and taking a trip to the beach. But not just any beach, beautiful Port Aransas on Mustang Island. It's been nearly two years since the coastal town was ravaged by Hurricane Harvey. It was a long journey of recovery, but now Port Aransas is back and it is better than ever. It's a fun destination for families with plenty for the kids to do like pirate and dolphin tours, surfing and parasailing, and plenty of great food. And if you're traveling without the kids, there's a thriving nightlife scene, a gorgeous golf course, and heck, everything you would have done with kids. Why not? This is SA Live in Port Aransas. and I dig surfing. I'm Jen, and I think dolphins are groovy. And I'm David Elder, and I love food. Cowabunga! <laughs> and we want to welcome you to SA Live's special oh, Port hey, Aransas. Hey, 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 let's go, bro. Let's go, the Port Aransas Tourism Bureau. So, this is just Welcome San Antonio. Thing. All right. Isn't this is awesome. You would it's never know that <laughs> just about two years ago, that hurricane was going right through here. It did. Kept going and we've come back 100%. We are ready to rock and roll to host everybody from San Antonio and around Texas for some great times. You, said you rock guys and roll, right? are yeah. gonna have a great time. First, we're gonna lead off with this. Right. Rock and roll. You guys are gonna be beaching it? Yeah. Sandcastle in it? That's right. Golf cart in it? Yeah. Music it? And a lot of eating. I think a lot of eating. Too, right? A lot of great restaurants. Uh, Super excited to try them all. We out. gotta get souvenirs. We got a, we got a lot there's to do. So much to do. Hey, there's a lot to do. All right, there's a lot of t-shirts to buy in town. <laughs> all right, and souvenirs for and Fiona. Candy. We get them. Oh, yes. Oh my oh, gosh. Yeah. All right, get candy. Let's not talk about it. Let's go. Let's all right, go. Let's go. Come on. All right. Okay. And, and one, two, three, party! You can't come down to the beach at Port A without building a sandcastle. It's like therapy. I got my bucket and I got my shovel, and oh, well, you guys got the big kits, didn't is, you? Is that what, for your sandcastle? Is that the only thing you brought? Well, yeah. What else do you need? The well, I mean, okay, ball. you've got the little. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think between all of this stuff, we're good to go. I think we're gonna make a really good sandcastle. I do too. What do you think? Have you ever done one before? Of course. <laughs> I, know, I well, think we should ask the expert. I know. Actually, we, we have an expert with us here today. <laughs> Ken Barnett, AKA Sandcastle Kenny. And you're a professional sandcastle builder. And That's a fact. And we're ready to go, right? This is all you need. That's great stuff, kids. Yeah. <laughs> okay. See? Yeah. Yeah. What you, you, but you've, actually helped, helped, yeah. you've helped the economy in town here <laughs> immensely by going through the shops and picking that stuff but up. But you have a real shovel in landscaping? I do. <laughs> I, I make sandcastles old school style before there was so much plastic in the world. Okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. And uh, we use real shovels, we use real buckets, we use forms that are free forms and we do hand stacking and we have tools. Well, well you're just here to have fun. That's, that's right. What, well, you know, and we're going to have yeah. fun. We're going to actually, yeah. we're going to build some sand right. castles and then Ken, you we're going to, we're going to challenge you. Okay. All right. And we're going to see if we can come up with something yeah. uh, that can probably well, rival something that you can create. You're Hopefully we right. got your inspiration. If you pay attention, you will do that. Now we're going to do the sand castle pledge. Okay. And how that is done is you raise your right hand and you repeat after me. I promise to have fun. I, I promise, promise to have fun. fun. And I promise to help others have fun. And, and I, I promise, promise to help others have fun. fun. And I promise to unlitter. And, and I, I promise, promise to, to unlitter. How it starts, if you're ready to start, yeah. is wherever I want my sandcastle, I stand. Okay. And I take my shovel and I make a you circle. You own it. Now then, the sand that I'm going to make my sandcastle with comes from outside that circle. And I just go around the circle and start making a, I call it a sand mountain. So the next task is to go down into the surf and get some water. Oh, the water feels great today. Oh man, this feels fantastic. We call this a, a wrap form and it's just clamped together and how it works is we'll just nestle it into that soft pack like so. Pour some water in and it mixes with the sand. It's like a beach stew. 
Yeah. A beach Peach stew. stew. <laughs> okay, then now we take our shovels and we shovel sand into the form like so. And what you need to do is wiggle it once in a while like so and it settles that sand and compacts it. Next step, hand stacking. You get your buckets, you get one of them that you took the water out of and you start putting sand in it like so. So the deal here is to mix the sand with the water so it's doing this Ooh, kind of stuff. Okay. See how it's doing that? Yeah. It needs to be that wet. So now what? Well, you build this up to a point. So we start the shaping by finding the center of your tower and then you just start working oh. it down into a point. And once it's off, take the sand that's around it and push it up into it like so, bulldoze. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Bulldoze it all up. I'm learning. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to do this with my kiddo. <laughs> What a wonderful job. I'm going to judge these things. Well, we're going to go for first prize with all of them. Yay! All of them get a first prize today. It's Sandcastle Candy, thank you very much. And now we got some great tips. Yes, and I think we, we stuck to our pledge. We all had fun, right? Yeah, yeah we, we stuck had, to our we pledge. Had fun. Now let's go, go find litter. Let's go find some okay, trash. Guys, all I right. Mike littered with the oh, he left this Here, let me take this so I can have litter. <laughs> thank you. All right. Okay. <laughs> knew this but you want to hang 10 this is the place to do it down here at Fort A because you can actually take lessons like from Brittany Faulkner here who is a surfing pro surfing instructor so I would have never thought of this kind of wave to be surfing waves yeah Texas has some of the best waves to learn on actually oh, I don't I, know if you knew that and you I, I did not uh, and you teach down here right I do I've been teaching at Texas surf camps for 15 years are most of the camps for kids are they for adults everybody it's for everybody we do have a limit of six so six and up okay. anyone can surf with us so a six-year-old do they do pretty good surfing oh they're some of the best surfers yeah. what okay what's the trick because I mean I've seen on TV a lot of people get out there and they boom fall down get up fall down get up fall down yeah it does happen a lot falling is part of surfing but um you know you just got to have good balance and stick with it have a positive attitude yeah yeah the best surfer in the world is the one having the most fun today we have about three feet of surf and you can learn to surf in anything from one to two feet so you don't need the big waves to learn would you like me to demonstrate for you sure okay so you, so you lay this down on your board first that's the first step second step is you have to catch the wave so paddling helps a lot with that you paddle just like this and then after you feel that you caught the wave and you're gliding with it you're gonna put your hands on the sides and do a push-up Next up, you slide your foot under like so. Hands stay on the rails until you're ready to stand up. Knees bent, perfectly centered on the board. All right, well, we need to see the expert do it, so. Okay, I'll go show you. Let me grab my board. All right. Of course, down here at Port A, there are so many activities on the water, but how about above the water? And that's where Tim comes in. So you put people off the back of the boat, but they're going up, yes, right? Sir. Parasailing. Absolutely, parasailing. What's that like? It's awesome. Uh, it's really smooth, it's quiet, uh, peaceful. Those are the all the terms we kind of hear when all our guests come back down. Uh, most people are pretty nervous at the beginning, but we go out there, we inflate the chute on our back of our boat. Uh, we hook you up. it would be like sitting in a swing with a life jacket on, and. We just take off and slowly let you out. How high do people get? About 200 feet above the water. Wow, that seems like it would uh, make people a little bit nervous as, yeah. as far as heights. It's not so bad because of the water. Uh, there's nothing really around you to compare yourself to. So 
feels like maybe 50 feet. Can you, see, can you see stuff in the water? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah, we see dolphins almost every day, stingrays. Uh, we saw the whale shark yesterday off the beach. Really? Yeah, it was amazing. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So how do you convince somebody if they're like, oh, no, I can't do that, I can't do that? We just tell them to come out for the ride, and then they always end up going anyway when they really? stay. Yep, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> and how many times have you done it? Oh, man, that, zero. I'm scared of heights, so. Seriously? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I've done it hundreds of times. <laughs> hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah. a good convincing thing for yeah. your, your passengers. <laughs> Literally just strap you in and you're sitting in a swing. That's all there is to it. Yeah, just enjoy it. I can imagine the, the view is fantastic. How far mm -hmm. can you see 200 feet up? Oh, wow. Um, miles. Yeah. You can see the whole town. You can see the whole town. island. You can see um, St. Joe's Island. You can see the lighthouse. You can see offshore. So take your camera up there and oh, yeah. take some selfies and yep. enjoy the view. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Everybody have a good time. Coming up next on the SA Live Port A Special, we take you out on an adventure into the Gulf of Mexico for a deep sea fishing trip. We're hitting the high seas, learning how to be pirates, may he. Yes, and Port Aransas. Stay with us. I'm the king of the world. Mike, Mike, this is, this is not the Titanic, this is a pirate ship. the quartermaster and yeah, he's yes. kind of in charge other than the captain on this ship right oh yeah that's what i am sir so you got a lot of scallywags out here <laughs> are they making good pirates well i'll tell you what mate i'm really impressed with the crop that we've got today they've been quite impressive they can pillage they can plunder they can do a little bit of everything oh yeah now i want to ask about this one does she look like a pirate she looks pretty decent to be honest with you mate pirate sowie <laughs> okay, what about him? Now he'll work. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, what does it take to be a pirate? Well, it takes a lot of skill, a lot of training, and okay. a lot of guts. All right. Okay. Mostly spilling of the guts, as it were. <laughs> All right. Yes. All right. Tell us about the experience when families come out here. Yes. Yeah, so we do an amazing two-hour show while we're out here. Okay. It's nothing but fun and for the family, fun for the kids. We have jokes for all ages. And what we do is we have sword fight training. We do a water gun training. We have ourselves a treasure hunt. Oh. And then we put mustaches on all the kids <laughs> and the moms sometimes. They yeah. do appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The full pirate experience. Exactly, love. So, right, right. so can we ask you to give us some pointers? Sure, right, okay. yeah. Okay. So the main thing you want to do is you got to work on your pirate lingo. Okay. All right. So I mean, Yes. Okay. Aye. So, Aye. I'll say, would you like another rum, mate? Aye. That's right. Would you like to go on a pirate adventure, mate? Aye. You want to give me all your money, mate? No. Okay, see, so you got to get better. <laughs> Aye. 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 And then, of course, there's always a sword fight, and I see you're ready today. Yes. Aye. Aye. So, what you always want to do is either aim for the vital organs or stab them in the back when they're not looking. <laughs> Perfect. Aye, aye. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, see, there you go. He picks up quick. Oh, no, he does. So I don't suppose the Red Dragon had to ride out the hurricane a couple of years ago, no, did it? No, no. Yes, actually, we actually took it over to Corpus Christi. Uh, and so instead of staying here in Port Aranges, we took it to Corpus Christi. She only suffered minor damages, cosmetic, really. But, you know, she's a beautiful girl, and she does her thing every day. She is day. a beauty. She is. Very nice. Aye, aye, that's right. And, and ever since that hurricane, the Red Dragon's been sailing and been pillaging the, the high seas, right? right? I tell you what, every year we just try to do a little bit better, and we thank everyone that's come down and actually uh, supported us at here, the Red Dragon. Uh, everybody, especially from San Antonio and all the areas, Austin, everywhere like that. They keep us going down here. All right. All right. All right what's your good... favorite thing about being a pirate? Being a pirate. All right. Go. <laughs> just in general. I'm in like, general. All right. <laughs> well, here's here's the quartermaster Zeke. Arr. 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 Pirate Sowie. Pirate Sowie. Port A offers a lot to do, but one of the best things you can do when you're out there, deep sea fishing. And located in Port Aransas, Deep Sea Headquarters is the place for deep sea fishing, tours of the bay, and dolphin watch cruises. You can create long lasting memories with family and friends in the beautiful Gulf of Mexico with Deep Sea Headquarters. So we woke up early, got out there, got on the boat, and headed out to go on a great fishing trip. Waters were a little rocky, but it didn't stop us from getting out to our destination. 
And on the schedule for us to be catching today, Red Snapper. It was a two and a half hour ride out into the Gulf of Mexico to get to about 150 feet deep of water. Now, when we got there, we set up, we dropped anchor, and we started fishing. Everybody on the ship got to catch two red snapper. You can throw the small ones back and you can go for an even bigger one if you really want to. And if they're not hitting in one spot, well, you just go find another. The captains are great and they know all the big hitting fishing spots there in the Gulf. So they'll take you on over to another spot and you get another chance at fishing. Once you catch your fish, the friendly deckhands come on by, put them on a line with a number and put them in the back of the boat for you. That way, when you get back to land, you know which ones are yours. The trip just flies by. And then once you make it back to the mainland, you get to stand in line and wait for your fish to be called out. All the fish get put up so you can go and take a picture, which you gotta take a picture with your fish. Then you get your fish and now you have the opportunity to have it filleted there at the place. And there's a restaurant located right next to Deep Sea Headquarters where you can bring your fish and they'll actually fillet it for you and you can eat it right there at the restaurant. How cool is that? Coming up this week on Elder Eats at 1.30 on Thursday, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a black and red snapper taco that's gonna blow your mind, a great recipe. So make sure you're tuning in to Elder Eats 1.30 this Thursday for a brand new episode. And we're gonna continue this deep sea journey by creating a delicious fish taco recipe. Coming up next on the SA Live Four Day Special, I'm taking you inside some delicious restaurants across the island. You won't believe the kind of stuff they have on the menu. All of it is absolutely delicious. You gotta check it out, coming up next. to do in the little beach town of Port A, including eating some delicious food. So we're stopping in at the Black Marlin to try out what they got on the menu. Now that we've been out on the beach, we've been out here all day, well, you're gonna build up an appetite. And one of the best places you can come out here in Port A is the Black Marlin. We're gonna go inside, go inside the kitchen, and we're gonna see what they're cooking up here, but ah, it already smells delicious. Let's go check it out. <laughs> We're inside the kitchen here at the Black Marlin. Chef Gail, you're with me right here, and you're gonna be cooking up some tasty food. I am. And you got a pimento burger, right? I got a pimento cheeseburger that has uh, roasted jalapeno, well, grilled jalapeno and onion and bacon on there. We're also gonna be doing our black and mahi tacos, Ooh. which has always been one of our best sellers, and then our award-winning shrimp and grits. Award-winning shrimp and grits. That's you know, what you get when you're out here in the south. So what's the first thing you're gonna be making? So the first thing I'm gonna do is the shrimp and grits. Okay. So I'm gonna my pan, I'm gonna get my uh, jumbo shrimp in there, smoked andouille sausage. Oh wow. Which also goes in there, and then corn. And then it's gonna get hit with the Creole seasoning. Ooh. And then the magic of heavy cream. This is a half pound prime rib burger that is custom made for us. Oh, oh wow. That's, so, uh, that is pure excitement in my voice right now. <laughs> I was like, oh. Right on to the get that on there. And then we're also going to toast a burger bun. Gotta butter them up. Butter it up because butter's better. Butter better. Butter is better. This is fresh cool. mahi. We get mahi sides in here and then wow. we uh, skin them and fillet them and cut them down. Toss in a little bit of blackening. Do a little shake and bake on them. A little shake and bake. Look at that. That's the Ooh, ingredient. Ooh, that's the secret ingredient. Cheese. Cheese. Sausage and corn get finished with cheese and poured over a bed of cheese grits covered in green onions and ready to go. The burger and the tacos are also finished up and I'm ready to chow down. Ground ribeye, pimento, Ground ribeye. house made uh, pimento cheese yeah. on there, toasted buns, and then of course you have the jalapenos and onions that just get a nice caramelization to them yep. on the flat top and then a bed of lettuce. Why not, right? Just Why not? Color and, and you know, a little bit of healthiness to it, right? It's all healthy. It's all healthy. <laughs> That's a nice manly bite. The pimento cheese is outstanding. I mean, the burger's killer. Toasted bun really allows you to have extra crunch on there. You're right. not gonna have a soggy bun. And I mean, everything on there, it's very multi-dimensional. Right. Great textures, great flavor. And Chef, you also, you can't Those just have fries. the burger. Those are beer batter fries. Beer batter fries. Yeah. I didn't give you ketchup, sorry. You don't, <laughs> you you don't, don't even it. need it. You don't need it. These are the mahi tacos. Yes. And you, you did blackened seasoning on them. But here, cheers. Cheers. Oh, wow. The fresh bite, 
it's crunchy. All these, all these little side items you get added onto it. The apple has a rich flavor to mm -hmm. it still. But you're gonna get sweetness from the yeah. mango that's in here and the mango that's in here. Yeah, and it it's really balance against the spiciness from the blackening seasoning and, and the sauce and the sauce. That's the bite though, right there. That's the one. <laughs> oh my goodness! Digging that. Great flavors and smokiness from the andouille sausage. Shrimp is cooked perfect. The cheese has a little kick to it. And really when the heavy cream gets reduced down like that, you get this delicious sauce that melts with that cheese. Chef Gail is an incredible award-winning chef and her career didn't start in the kitchen. You didn't start as a chef. No. You were actually you're a French teacher, right? Yeah, high school French and English teacher. <laughs> oui, oui. Oui, oui. I have a love for culture. I have a love for history. And to me, I mean, food is all about culture and history. Yeah. You understand more about what people eat based on where it is, where it comes from. Then you need to learn about the people who, you know, brought that dish to that region or created it in that region. So it is, it's all about culture. It's all about history and, um, it's all about comfort. To me, that's that's what food is. Restaurant is the Black Marlin. Chef Gail's gonna be here, and she's gonna be cranking out delicious food for you. You can make your trip phenomenal. Take it to that next level by getting this shrimp and grits dish. Unlike anything else I've ever had and anything else that you'll ever have, there's a lovely bar outside, and we have a lot more places to take you out to. Now for a quick bite, we're traveling across the island to Tortugas, a new restaurant that's serving up some modern twists on some classic favorites. Our last restaurant stop here on the Port Day Special is at Tortugas Saltwater Grill. We're gonna go inside. Chef Chris is gonna take us into the kitchen. And we're gonna show you guys all the delicious food that they have to offer. Let's go check it out. When we came up with this concept, we really all just kinda of decided that we wanted to take different elements of seafood from different parts of the country and even different parts of the world and, and kind of bring it to Port A, you know? You've got a, a crispy wonton chip with uh, just a little bit of cabbage and uh, of course fresh yellowfin tuna, sashimi grade yellowfin tuna, little mango salsa, sriracha aioli, and fresh jalapeno. There we go, let's dive in. That's absolutely incredible, Chef. This is definitely one of my favorites. This is the shrimp and grits, right? Yeah, this is uh, definitely, actually this is our number one seller on the dinner menu. You can't go wrong with shrimp and grits. <laughs> yeah, shrimp it's, and te grits. it's Texas, baby. Yeah. It's just a great combination. Let's dive in, let's try it out. Cheers. Great cheesy flavor, it's almost smoky. Yeah, the smokiness comes from the, the charred poblano paste that we put in the sauce, and there's a little bit of bacon in there too. So you kind of get it from two sides. On to our final uh, main course here. This one, absolutely gorgeous as well. Talk to me about this, what are we looking at? So this is the blue crab crusted red snapper. Um, it's served over some sweet corn risotto, uh, some charred vegetables on the side. Um, it's finished with a lemon butter, a little bit of green onion and tomato and Parmesan cheese. That's the bite you want when you come out here. Check that out. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna keep this one. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Chef, great job, man. Thank you. Well, Chef, thank you so much for inviting us out here. Absolutely delicious. All the food is just a home run. I couldn't imagine even how delicious your steaks are. They have a lot of different options on the menu. Fun for the whole family to come out here. A big outdoor seating area, too. Coming up on SA Live, we have more from Port A as the Port A special continues. I'm going to keep eating this dessert. Coming up, we are hitting the links here at Pamia Beach, and we're going to see how this course sort of had a rebirth, much more family friendly, all that after Hurricane Harvey hit. Still ahead on SA Live, we are out at sea, Scarlet Lady Dolphin Adventure Tours. I'm out here looking for dolphins, and we're gonna tell you how you and your family can experience this too at Port Aransas. Stay with us. All right, here we are at the beautiful uh, Palmia Beach golf course here, right along the coast, and the only Lynx course, you said? The only Lynx course in Texas. Okay, now after the hurricane, you said that was almost kind of a blessing in disguise because you've made this more family friendly, right? Absolutely, we took the opportunity before we rebuilt the golf course to kind of really look at the industry and where it was going. And so we transitioned from catering to the avid golfer as much 
to catering to all family friendly activities. So you said it's a nine hole course now and it's almost not quite like a top up, but you know, just something fun like that, right? We've shortened the golf course, made it more family friendly, and then also built a little three hole short course that folks can, can go around that younger golfers, non golfers, novices, they can all play it and have fun. You can get around this golf course in an hour and a half. So wow. you could come out in the morning and play for an hour and a half and then go to the beach and be with the family all day. Okay, and these are the uh, golf spikes now, right? We want to make golf less intimidating, so you can play in board shorts or bare, bare feet. Foot. Yeah, absolutely, and everyone's welcome at Palmia Beach. Okay, what's your handicap? Uh, about a 10. Uh, really? My handicap is just my game. Oh, <laughs> come on, really? <laughs>
I just wept. And I, you know, so much that I have worked hard for and put my whole life into what we have built for so many years was lost overnight. And I thought to myself, how could I not reopen? Because this community had supported me for so long. Move forward to today. Coffee Waves Coffee Shop is thriving in Port Aransas. Owner David Bendit and his wife Amber credit the community on helping them rebuild. We had volunteers, people from Corpus, people from Rockport, uh, people from Dallas come down and also uh, help us pull everything out. Because they did not have flood insurance on their coffee and gelato equipment, they had to raise $150,000 to replace everything. Walking inside this place today, you wouldn't even know nearly three feet of sand, debris and seaweed covered the floors. We were really scared that maybe we weren't going to be able to bounce back the way we were. It was going to take years to get back to where we were going to be, um, especially having to remodel right after the hurricane. And what an atmosphere. The staff is dedicated and always smiling. The Java worth the wait and the shop. Well, look at this space. Um, David really wanted to create a community here when he opened Coffee Waves nine years ago. Um, it was about having a great cup of coffee and a great community, and that was what it was all about for him. It was never about the money um, or the profit. <laughs> Here's a look at some of the customer favorites. The blended frozen drinks, of course, the teens like that. The traditional Italian macchiato, I have to say, very creamy and delicious. Let me take one. I love you. <laughs> and of course, the lattes. More caramel, please. And don't worry, there's something for the kids too. Handmade Italian gelato is a hit. Whether you are coming here to see the beach, I think it's a great place to come, um, cool down maybe for a little bit or grab your energy before you go out. It's a really, really great place to be, whether you are a tourist or you're a local. And we love this community so much. So stop by Coffee Waves on your trip to Port Aransas, enjoy a cup of relationship coffee, and embrace this community as your own. After all, there's no storm that can stop them from serving smiles. Hey Jeff, there we are. We really, really tried to uh, be a centerpiece for the rest of the community. Um, and we really felt like if we could get back up and running, then the rest of the island could get back up and running. So don't skip out on your Java fix while you explore and enjoy the rest of Port Aransas. Cheers. Next on SA Live in Port Aransas, you can't get back to San Antonio without some souvenirs and goodies for the rest of your friends and family. We'll show you where to go to grab some fun finds and a hidden gem for your sweet tooth. Stay with us. candies, new candies, um, you get to um, try fudge and caramel which are made daily. A lot of history in here and um, people just like to come, they browse, their kids shop and it's a good day. <laughs> the old fashioned candies, I mean that's just, we're walking around and going, yes, I remember, I remember that. Yes. That's the whole point about this it place, is. right? This takes you back. Halloween sugar daddy, sugar babies. Oh man, those things are fantastic. That we really, really appreciate everybody that comes down here. Everybody's worked so hard um, to get back, and um, we're just glad to have all the, you know, the tourists, the families, um, friends come back and visit us. Of course, no trip to Port A is complete without souvenirs. Mm. Wendy Clark from the Islander is here. Oh, this is so much fun walking through <laughs> so your many store. Nice things in here. I know. It's you can get lost, fun. really. <laughs> yes, you yeah. can. <laughs> and you're definitely, I mean, an institution here in Port A. We've been here since 1972 and in this location since 1980. So, yeah, it's, we've been here a long time. We need to 
get souvenirs for no. Fiona. No. Oh, for Fiona. Fiona. Yeah, so yes. you recommend shark tooth and <laughs> necklaces baby and yeah, baby Sloan. Okay. okay. Sloan. All right. Um, and baby, right? Yeah. Wendy? <laughs> we are going to divide and conquer and meet up. Okay, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Time. three. Yes. Go. 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 <laughs> really? You're kidding. No? Huh? Wrong number. So check this out. Look. What do you think? I think one of these would suit Fiona. You can get a shirt out here. And they have all the shirts behind me. And then you can get one of these put on there. That's a pretty cool gift. I don't know. Could we take this to Fiona? Oh, yeah. yeah. I think I want it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's in there. <laughs> yes. Yes. We're looking huh. for souvenirs for Fiona. Come on. I, but I just was seeing if it would look good on her. I'm Perfect. Wendy, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you for visiting. Time. Have a good day. Let's go. <laughs> I forgot one thing, message in a bottle from Port 8. This is for Fiona. Okay. 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 Take care of this for me. All right. Thank you, sir. I'm relying. Okay. I got it. Mike, message in a bottle. Told me to take care of it. Oh, hey, what's that? It says, wish you were here. Love SA Live. Oh. Wow, we had a blast in Port Aransas. We're building sandcastles, mm -hmm. going to parasailing, hanging out in the golf course, surfing. surfing. Yes, and seeing the dolphins, I got to sip on some island coffee and oh. learn. we learned how to be pirates, Pirate, right, mate? Yes, yeah. I did. see fishing, <laughs> all the delicious food that was out there, and of course, the gorgeous ocean views. And we have to give a special thank you to Silver Sands Vacation Rentals for putting us up in their fabulous vacation homes. And we wish you could have been oh, there. We missed you, you, we missed you out there. Oh, yeah. You guys had so much fun. Didn't forget you. We wrote your name in the sand, and the way you came in, and that was no. it. Why'd you bring me? Why'd you bring me? Check it out. She's right. uh, <gasps> It's a sandal. It's a sand candle. Oh, uh, uh, there you go. And this is for Matt, and I'm sure he'll find a porpoise for it. <laughs> oh, look at that. And yeah. for little Sloan, Beach Bugs, her first little pop-up oh. There you go. Cute. Thanks She's going like to it. love that. Thank you, mm -hmm. And a shark tooth necklace. Oh Ooh. my gosh, did yes. you yank that yourself? <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, he caught a deep sea fishing. I pulled the yeah. teeth and then we, he filleted. And That's so, right. Uh, it was and delicious. It was delicious. And a very special extra thank you to the Port Aransas Tourism Bureau for making all the arrangements. Yes, visit Port Aransas. Everything is up and running and you'll have the time of your life because we sure did. We did. Yeah, it's, it's even better than, than it ever was. So, and thank you very much for watching SA Live in Port Aransas. We will see you tomorrow at 1. Have a wonderful evening.